This is a photo screen comparison between AI optic and plus optics. Like when Dr. Tulip does it, he checks number five, like that five years old. Now, let's take a little look just like this. Now you're doing great. We'll move it back so the green is just right. Super duper. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Yay! It found out that you got like... A Okay. I picked the age. Can you see me a little bit? Yes. Nice. You want me to just get that? No, you can look right at it. Look right at that. Okay. that, that. There you go. Perfect. Nice. That's a refer. Now, when you look on this part, we push this little camera part like this. Then I look at that part like that. And it sees you. See if you can see the, the, the pretty thing on the front. How does it look? Pretty good? Now, now it's processing. Please wait, it's gonna look here. It's got, it's thinking, it says refer. It thinks she's also got a little bit of astigmatism. I guess I get a network error, whether I want it or not. No, okay, Wi Fi, ACES, connect. Connected. Good. All right. Now, here's yours. We'll get this on like this. Then it's gonna it's gonna be looking at you, and there's a good distance now. Nice rose. Super job. Now it's done its thing. Now data is processing, and it gave you a refer also. It thought you had a little bit of nearsighted astigmatism. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look on kind of like this. It's gonna see you at about maybe, let's get it to this distance here. See if you can see anything pretty in there. Does that look pretty good? You did that good. Data processing. Mm. This is a Canadian, this is a Chinese special version of this thing. And it says more farsighted on this side than this side. This is a comparative validation project comparing the brand new AI optic with the conventional plus optics A12 photo screeners. From the front, the AI optic on the left and the plus optics on the right. From the top, from the screen side on the back, the user handle. And this is the appearance of what it looks like when you get a refer interpretation. We studied 200 patients average age seven with wide ethnic diversity and several with neurodevelopmental delays, but they had a high amblyopia risk factor prevalence. We used receiver operating characteristic curves or ROC curves to compare the ability to detect amblyopia risk factors by the plus optics in orange and the AI optic in gray. This is the 2013 APOS uh, uniform guidelines for refractive plus strabismic with inconclusive results counted as if it's a refer. We also looked at the brand new 2021 APOS characteristics. This compares on the left uh, preschool on the right school age with refractive only with the inconclusives not counted. Moving to the upper left or the northwest corner shows better validation. This is refractive but counting the inconclusives as a refer. And this is combining refractive plus strabismic 
amblyopia risk factors uh, showing better performance by the plus optics than the brand new AI optic. We also compared both devices in their ability to predict spheral cylinder refractive error using the ABCD ellipsoid method. This shows the actual metric and a better performance is closer to the zero showing that plus optics in the right eye and left eye outperformed the AI optic in estimating refractive error. Another way to look at this is a grade A match is within one line of visual acuity, grade B within three, grade C within six lines of visual acuity, also showing that the plus optics outperformed the AI optic. What about cost of infrared photo screeners? The AI optic is uh, very affordable compared to the conventional infrared uh, locally interpreted photo screeners being between five and seven thousand dollars. So in this case, the AI optic comes out ahead. But what about validity? If we compare the ability to detect amblyopia risk factors and to estimate refractive error in this high amblyopia prevalence group, the plus optics outperforms the AI optic. 